There's certainly no denying our love affair with fragrance. In fact, more than 2 million Americans spent $500 or more on perfume in 2016. But did you know an estimated 10% of all perfumes on the market are fake? Yes, indeed. Leslie conducted an investigation to sniff out the counterfeits. More importantly, their impact on your health. I love perfume and I love a good bargain, but sometimes those things don't go too well together. In recent years, Customs and Border Protection has seized more than $50 million in counterfeit perfumes in just one year. So what do we have here on this table? We have real fragrances and we have counterfeit ones, and I bet just by looking, you can't tell the difference. Do these counterfeits smell like the real thing? We're gonna find out and meet with a master perfumer who's gonna teach us how to train our nose how to know the difference. So when you spray a fragrance, the first thing that you smell are the top notes. And that's what sort of fills the air with a nice little fresh mist. Then you have your middle note, the heart note, the heart of the fragrance. The dry down's the point where when you smell it on your clothes the next day, that wonderful sweater uh, it's your fragrance. Essence. Your essence. Yes, I have a little experiment I want to do with you. I want to see if you can sniff out the counterfeit. Okay. <laughs> smell this one. Now, smell this one. With the counterfeit fragrances, they're really just trying to get you in on the very beginning of a fragrance. So we let the perfumes dry down a little bit. We want to see if there's any stain power. Fake, real. I'm starting to smell some of the chocolate in there, and it's, it's got more depth to it. I'm thinking two's the real one. The first one is the counterfeit. Okay. The second one is the real. That one just doesn't have that strong base classic Chanel oomph to it. Right again, that one is the fake. That one smells fuller and a little smoother. Right again, but when it gets more telling is after you let it dry. The middle stage is where you'll notice that there is a difference and then there's just gonna be nothing there for the dry down. And that's the most important part. They're using the cheapest ingredients that they can find mm -hmm. and they're also diluting them a lot. And that's why our next step is to go to the lab and see what's actually in these counterfeit fragrances. We brought you the real versions of these fragrances as well as the fakes. And I would like you to walk us through how you're gonna go about testing them. Sure, the most important portion of the testing we're doing is residual solvents. We will check to make sure that there's no class one, class two, and class three chemicals. This includes toluene, methanol, to make sure that there's no cancer-causing chemicals in the copy formulations. Don't let your nose fool you. This stuff could be toxic. <laughs>